Welcome, everybody. This is section one, one of your text entitled Variables. The objective is to simplify numerical expressions and to evaluate algebraic expressions. Now, you might be wondering, what is a numerical expression or what is an algebraic expression? That is what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about both of those things. We'll be talking about evaluating. We'll be talking about simplifying. Let's look again. We're simplifying numerical expressions, but we're evaluating algebraic expressions. You've heard of simplifying or simplifying fractions, but now this new thing, evaluate. If you think about the word evaluate, hmm, evaluate. Values in the middle there is to give a value to this expression. So we're going to give it a value. We're going to evaluate these things. Let's move on. I'm going to talk about both of these and try to keep it quick. All right. What we have here on the left is a numerical expression. What we have on the right is an algebraic expression. Notice the difference. Numerical, it's all numbers. Algebraic, oh, it's got something in there. It's also all numbers, but we have these unknown numbers. That's a Q. It's really cute. That's an unknown number. So. Um, there's, there's a special name for those, uh, variables. Variables are these numbers that we don't know. They use letters to represent them. So this is actually not the letter M, this is the number M. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but I have this little secret. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's go back over here to something you've seen before. I noticed that I have this numerical expression. I need to simplify this, and I see it's 15 minus, ooh, some parentheses. What I like to do when I see parentheses is go like this. See, these are like my blinders, like I'm some sort of like horse in a race. And you got to zoom in on those and take care of that business first. So that's what I'm going to do. I need to take care of this quantity. 12 minus 10. Hmm, I know that's 2. No need for these parentheses anymore. 15 minus 2 plus 3. I'm simplifying the numerical expression. Hmm, 15 minus 2 plus 3. I have 15, take away 2, I have 3. I have 15, take away 2, down to 13. Plus 3, ooh, plus 16. 16, bada bing, bada boom. I have simplified the numerical expression. Now, what we're going to do over here is we're going to evaluate. We're going to give value to. So first I have to figure out what the values of these variables are. What are the values of these variables? Well, hold on. Where is it? Oh, over here. What did you say? Oh. Someone just told me, and usually these are given, that the value of M is 6, and the value of Q is 2. Now that I know the values of those variables, I can evaluate this algebraic expression. But, notice the 5 and the M are right next to each other. Does that mean 56? No, it does not mean 56. We try to keep things as short as possible in algebra. So, when you don't see a sign between a number and a variable, it's implied that it's multiplication. Multiplication is the only operation that doesn't need a sign. So this is actually multiplication, right? So it's actually 5 times 6. And now that we're in algebra, we're going to use that dot instead of the old-fashioned 5 times 6. Because now that we're using letters, you put that times, that old, that old school times in there, people are going to think that's an X. Too much confusion, dude. So we're just going to keep it to the dot. So I, what I'm doing here is... I noticed they told me that the M was 6. Therefore, wherever I see an M in this algebraic expression, I can rewrite it with a 6. And there's only one for this example. So I put my 6. Hmm. So I'm rewriting this expression. I'm evaluating it. I'm giving value to it by substituting in numerical values for the variable. 6 plus, what's that, Q, 2. What I just did was, by substituting, I know that M is equal to 6, so 
if you if I have hmm, m plus three, I must have six plus three. So wherever there, which is nine, right? So wherever there's an m, I know it's six. Wherever there's a q, I know it's two. So I just change this algebraic expression into a numerical expression, and now I'm actually simplifying it as I'm evaluating it. So five times six is thirty. Oh, got my blinders. Notice the blinders. Take care of that business in there. Six plus two. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. This two is right next to that parentheses. Is that two plus eight? Did we just... Multiplication is the only operation that doesn't need a sign. That must be multiplication. Two times eight. Sixteen. So remember, I don't know if you remember PEMA, parentheses, then exponents, multiply before add always. Okay, we'll talk about that a couple sections up. 13 minus 16, mm, I mean 30, sorry, minus 16. I know 30 minus 15 is 15. 30 minus 16 is 14. Boom. I've just done two things. On the left, I've evaluated, I mean, I've simplified a numerical uh, expression. Over here, I took a, an algebraic expression, turned it into a numerical expression by substitution, and then I simplify or evaluate. When you start off with the algebra, you evaluate the expression. When you start off with all numbers, you simplify. Okay? And that pretty much rounds up the entire lesson. So, enjoy. Have a nice day. Hmm.